Hello everyone, welcome back to the farm. Today we are going to look at some hand recycled paper. Tux is here to help. Thank you, Tux. Um, so yesterday I got the opportunity to make some recycled paper. We use primarily this kind of bag. Grocery bag, paper grocery bag brown. And as you can see it made cardboard. Wow. Wow. Use the the deco technique. We pulped up the um the recycling paper in a blender with a bunch of water. And then anyway, I'll 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 post a link to the technique below. Very standard paper making technique. So these were all made with um just with the paper bag and this one had some flowers put in after lifting and this one had some like I made confetti confetti with a cutout page from a magazine and that also got put in after we lifted the decal so these are like the surface additions this is how they look this is how they look on the back this one has a little imprint on it. You can't, you can barely see it. It certainly came out. This is the first piece of paper. So the first one is usually the thickest because there's the most paper pulp mixed in with the water. And then, you know, if you don't keep adding more and more paper pulp, eventually it'll get thinner. So then there was some leftover blue dark very dark blue dye from a clothes dyeing project so we mixed it in and it did not turn out blue it turned out gray so this is this material with this dark blue leftover dye um, mixed in the blender and this one we had a lot of a different we tried a lot of different additions here's the first page very thick there's even some string in here So we, uh, we used this like paper making kit and it came with different additions that you could add into your paper. So they included, this is literally chopped up US dollars. I don't know where they got shredded US dollars, but it came with a little pack of it. It also came with sparkles, sprinkles, shinies. So I like shiny things metallic things so i put them in but looking at the final result to be honest i'm i don't really like it it looks a little i don't know it's just not my style but we can look at the back and see how those look this one had the confetti mixed in to the paper pulp not put on top and uh so some of it is like on the surface and other pieces are like buried within the paper this one is just plain, nice and thick. Here's another one. Okay, this one, the kit also came with uh, some dried flower petals. So these got sprinkled on top. This paper looks like it had the confetti mixed in already. And then uh, here's how it looks with the, with the paper, sorry, with the paper, with the flower petals. I don't know. And this is, I think this is the last sheet we made. Yeah, we used the rest of the dollars. We mixed the dollars into the, um, the water and pulp mixture. So you can see the difference. This is when we mixed in the dollar scraps into the paper pulp water mixture and then lifted. This is putting them, sprinkling them on top after they after you lift the whole box. So it's just, it's a different effect. It's a different effect. Here you have the depth, right? Some of the pieces are like embedded within the paper and some of the pieces on this are on the surface. But you can also make many interesting effects with the other technique. The only thing that the other technique is, you know, 
they're falling off, right? And that's the problem with the sparkles too. They're falling off. They're getting all over everything. Once you use sparkles, then you have sparkle problems. And now my cat is covered in sparkles. I have to pick them out of her fur so that she doesn't eat the sparkles. And yeah. But anyway, why did I do this? Because I've never made paper before. I like paper. I use paper. I draw ink on paper. And I've had people ask me, do you use your own paper? And I say, no, I use, you know, store-bought paper. But I thought maybe it would be cool if I made my own paper. Now, I don't know how good any of these are going to look with uh, ink on them. That'll have to be another video. This one, I don't think... I don't know. This is kind of pretty on its own. I don't know if this could use some kind of embellishment. It's kind of drab. <laughs> so I don't know what I'll use these for. This was the first time an experiment. I had a lot of fun and now I can say that I know how to make paper. Hope you enjoyed this. See you next time. Bye-bye.